We're here with Sonequa and Kendrick. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you so very much for stepping out. And, you know, stand-up to cancer is touching a lot of people personally. Do you have a story as well? Yes, my mother. She's She survived cancer three times, oh, wow. which is amazing. Wow. She's oh. a true warrior. She's a warrior for sure. Well, tell me, like, what was that growing up with her as a warrior mother? Goodness. Uh. You know, I was, I was 12 when she was first diagnosed with breast cancer, and then she was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2010, and so, and then uh, the stomach cancer just recently, a couple of years ago, but it was really phenomenal to watch her, but honestly, I, I understand her strength more now that I'm a woman and now that I'm a mother as well. Uh, yeah. I understand her more than ever now. And so to look back on what all she was able to do, the fact that she was able to keep my experience normal, it's, I mean, it speaks volumes of her, her character, her, I mean, her awesomeness. I'm really inspired by her. It's amazing, you know, when we have to talk about cancer, we think of the, the stories of those that we've lost, but then of those, there are those stories that have survived, and there's a lot that, you know, uh, uh, it, it really kind of turns up in everybody, family members and everybody, this love and this appreciation for life. Right. What was that journey like, you know, being supportive of the family as well, and, you know, you two as a couple? I mean, by the way, you're a beautiful couple. Oh, thank you. Thank you. They were getting hit on by other people. Just, they, yeah. Whatever I, we can I, do to stand up. I don't know. We stand up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, I mean, it's it's amazing. You know, I by the time by the time she and I met and got married, you know, her mother had already um, had been on the the winning side of the battle for most of it. But it's so inspiring, especially I have an aunt who lost her life to breast cancer in the year 2000. So it's a while ago, but we, my family still feels the effects of that loss. You know, she was a wonderful, great woman while she was alive. And so it's, uh, you know, it's great to see um, somebody coming through the other end and, and win. You know, and, and it shows us that this, this disease is not something that we're conquered by, that it can be, that it can be overcome, that we can continue to keep fighting and, and ultimately beat it for good. You know, which is why we're here. You know, and it's just proof. You know, all of these, these testimonies of people that live. You know, and the people that fight, but then they pass. You know, it's the testimonies that we can strive and beat this thing for good and be done with it. Right. Now, tell me, you're stepping out with a lot of other celebrities as well. You're busy yourself. Can you talk about anything? I can tell you that the premiere of Walking Dead is coming soon, and we won't have to keep secrets anymore. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, and, you know, I have so many friends and family. I, I am a Walking Dead. I, 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 I have not caught up yet because uh -huh. I haven't started yet. Don't don't hate oh, me. Don't hate me. Okay. But I want to because I want to do it all in one sitting. Yes. But it's so hard to get off of Twitter and then see all yeah. the things, and then they're it's like, hard. oh, my God, so and so. And I'm wow. having withdrawals right now. I know. I'm telling you, it has been a long time. I am even so excited. I'm ready. I'm ready for this premiere. I'm ready for it to be open and shared with everybody. Um, but Netflix is going to be your best friend. So well, I, that's where I get. That's where I get caught up. I get yeah. caught up, but I get caught up on shows like when they've only been one season. I'm like, why did they not go a second season? But yeah. I mean, I think what is that? Six, seven. How many? What's the seasons now? Six. It's starting. Six. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I know all the Walking Dead fans are like, how could you not know the seasons? But no, no, no. I want to say <laughs> thank you for adding to that. Is there ever a moment that you have a dream or a nightmare, or do you have a dream of a nightmare of her becoming? Oh, of I've her never becoming dreamed. one. I actually don't have nightmares. I never have. Really? But yeah. and I don't think. You I mean, have I've either. thought about like if if she were to become one, like would I be able to just you know like, like still love her or get get rid of her? Well, would I be able to get rid of her? I don't know. Oh. I might just like run and leave her in a room. <laughs> You know, I don't know. You're like, she, she, a part of her is still there. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to be the one to do it, but I can't stick around because I know you're going to eat me. You're going to eat me. You know, me. it's that catch-22 in the zombie apocalypse that you're forced to deal with. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I told him I'd cut his jaw off and his fingers and just take him with me, oh, like would. Michonne did. See, that's smart. You just take the finger and then you put the ring on. That actually is really, so, you fine. really have thought about this. Yeah, I actually oh, have thought about <laughs> Like, I would just keep you with me. Thank you so very much for spending time with us here on the Hollywood Social Lounge and thank you for adding your voice. Of course, thank, thank you. you.